was a liar and a cheater. Word. Won't oh. make it through the door. Oh, I gotta clean up. Word. Oh, what I messed up. Hey, hey. Oh. Starting my life over again. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Oh, hell. Oh. 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 I was, you, I, you know, I was in the moment. Is that what you call it? That's what it was. Um, when you just take it and you run with it. It's called talent, okay? I don't know who calls it. Great. I just called it. Yeah. I just called it talent. Uh -huh. Greetings, Earthlings. How are y'all? We're back again. As you can see, my famous background. Or I didn't even mean famous. I meant favorite background. With the light. She First loves of all, this light. I, because it adds light. Does it not add light? It and she looks tried like to a take. Home. First of all, I rearranged my living room. That I did not ask her to do. You don't live here? Okay, that's fine. And she took the lamp off of the stand and is sitting just on the couch. Because had you just left the lamp alone and put your couch on the other side of the living room, then the lamp could have been in its proper positioning. Did you not say it was homey? It is homey. And then you mess with the light. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Um. We are back with another fun topic. I think all of our topics are fun. I know I say that like, oh, we're back for another And then you always say, and this is the one we're really passionate about. <laughs> I do. We every are time. really passionate. I guess you should be passionate about like every subject. Right. Right? Um, there are some that's like, um, but typically if we feel um, we like don't record. So we have to be, yeah. we got to be passionate. They got to feel us. Don't, don't let the passion release now. Um, after this. You already know where we're going, okay? <laughs> we don't even have to make it a thing. We don't even have to discuss muscles. This time we getting catfish and, and muscles. Um, <laughs> and it's also Mysterious Red's birthday. birthday. A mysterious she's dragging birthday. us. Dragging, oh Lord Jesus. Dragging. But last night was fun. You know, we're going to uh, more of the earlier events. Like when you can be home by 10.30? Yes. Um, and tonight is not so early. We getting there at like, at like 10. And you know, when there's like, there's just be a bunch of black people out at that time. And you just, you worry people about shooters. Right. Drunk drivers. Just. I got rear ended yesterday. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he was on his phone texting. What did he say? His flip flop got it's stuck. About, oh under. yeah. My flip flop got stuck. And I was like, sorry, I saw you, but it's, it's fine. Where your flip flop? You ain't even got flip flops on. Where your flip flop at? Why do you have flip flops on driving? I take my flip flops off. <laughs> okay. So um, this subject is just, or this topic that we're gonna talk about, a little mini. So am I spinning on you? Cause I feel. I mean, my arm a little. I late. feel uh, the the sully vibe like little, releasing. Okay. Why are you looking I'm at looking your hair? Yes. Oh, you think you? But I haven't you, done my hair since cutting my cause hair. Cause you ain't had none. Cause yeah. you been bald. Yes. But no. Oh, okay. But now you're getting a little hair. And I it's haven't, cute. you know, twisted my hair in like right. over a year. I know. Over for sure. a year. And I'm not trying to know what that feels like anytime soon. If I, As long as I can do this, we're good. Yeah. The little, uh, uh, no, none of that. I'll be back ball. Yeah. As long and as I can just wake up and do this. The struggle patch back here. Cabbage like, patch. Part of me wants to go get a haircut. Patchy. No, because you're trying to grow your hair back out. Here. Back here. No, because you're trying to grow it out. So just look like Miss Seeley. With but you look cute though. Okay, you don't look like Miss Seeley. I'm saying <laughs> You ain't gotta look at me like that. You know I think you cute. Um, okay, real real fast before I get attacked. So this topic, again, we're gonna get to the topic. This topic is about <laughs> purging and decluttering your mm -hmm. life, your soul, your spirit, whatever you need to do to just make you feel real good cute inside. Sage, num yo hore cake yum num yo hore cake yum num yo cake yum. No, so um, this is just about a cleanup in life. This is some things that we've started doing because mm -hmm. we have a goal to live a minimalistic life. Okay, did you catch that? Write that down. Minimalistic, just things that are practical. Ain't that the word you've been using? Yes, practical. Things that are practically 
to our lives. And it started, I think, with just clothes because every time she comes over here, she would borrow a shirt or some shorts. And it's like, you need to get rid of some of this stuff in Her drawers were literally like, you could not shove it. And like, none of it was folded. Or if it was, you couldn't tell because- It was folded. It, it was so stuffed. And I'm like, you really need to go through your drawers. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to close your drawers. And it was just like t-shirts and tights. Just a bunch of them. That you don't even <laughs> wear anymore. Like, what are we... This is not sophomore year, ma'am. You put on real clothes when you go to the grocery store now. You don't just put on leggings, flip-flops, and a t-shirt. You at least do jeans and like a and little... A shirt. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, just one day I woke up and I was like, okay, I'm gonna throw all these, all this stuff away. And I went through the drawers and then like the next weekend I kind of went through my closet and then for like three weeks in a row, I just kept going through my That's closet. It. Um, and it was like, oh man, this feels good. Right. And then it was the makeup and it's like, oh, what else can I throw away? Right. <laughs> um, and so, and I've been throwing away clothes as well because I couldn't fit half of my clothes or not. She's 90%. lost almost a hundred pounds. And so we are down in the sizes, honey. Thank you, baby. If ain't nobody Thanks, proud of you, you your, your bitch is proud You the you. bitch is proud. Yes, yes. Thank Her you. Her husband is down. 50. He ain't got no stomach no more. He look like a whole new nigga. He doesn't. He does look like a whole new nigga. Like, babe. Who are you? Okay, who you get skinny for? Like, where you going? Um, so we purged a lot of our clothes. And this weekend, I went through the entire apartment and cleaned out. We had like 10 trash bags of just stuff. Mm -hmm. Every closet I went through, I organized, got rid of shoes, and we threw away hangers because we had too many hangers. I mean, like just throwing away things. And we're about to transition into a new season. You know, we're going from summer to fall. And I always right. think that's that's just a good and time. And she loves fall. Oh, fall it's is her my favorite. favorite. Season. So it's like, move, summer, fall is here. <laughs> Um, and I, you know, it, I think it's just a good time to just, re, it's always good for a refresh, just to right. hit the restart button, especially if you feel like you've been in a funk, you thought she was going to be summertime fine, and it's like, eh, that didn't happen, you can be, you know, wintertime cute, so it's right. just, you know, it's just, it's time to just refresh, to purge, hit that, hit that refresh button. And you don't have to wait until January 1st. You can yeah. start now. Um, I'm not a fan of like the New Year's resolutions because first of all, I ain't shit. So I, I'm not going to do anything. So anything that I do. <laughs> it has to start today. <laughs> okay. And so um, you don't have to wait. You can do it now. And we have, there was a bug in my face. Oh my God. Um, I don't know why I sound like I was in the valley. So we have four tips for you on just how to start and some things that we've done. One is go through your closet. Find practical clothing that fits your life. And I have been saying life. that you over and over Practical again. has been the new word. Because, you know, you see stuff at the store and it's like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Then you buy it and you never have, you never go anywhere to wear it. Never. Um, you just I, buy because it's on clearance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had like a lot of businessy clothes. I work outside. Mm -hmm. Be sweating. And even when I worked inside, it was really, it was more casual than it was. Business like jeans casual. and your jeans business and shirt and yeah. some shoes. Not even a business shirt, jeans and like a t-shirt almost, just and some shoes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like, why do I have all of these things? I'm never, I'm never wearing them. Um, old, like going out clubbing clothes. I don't go to the club, Ooh. honey. I go to the couch. So yes. Where are the couch clubs? All <laughs> you need is clubs? like a few good pairs of shorts. And the pants, you know the pants that got the holes in them, those them be my favorite. <laughs> and a big oversized t-shirt, you ready for the couch. Club couch. And yeah. it's just, you know, reassessing my style and what I mm -hmm. look like. And to me, I care more about being comfortable than anything else, honestly. So all of my clothes are just t-shirt you know a cute little accessory a cute little mm -hmm. something and so then i just got five t-shirts and five right. pair of jeans that just mission match with a different little jacket and it's like that's a look that's a look and been um just acquiring little accessories and things so you can just dress something up and or it can still it be dressed down mm -hmm. that's it so when you go through all of your clothes and you can see what you have and you don't feel overwhelmed it's it's a really good feeling so and then when you feel like you don't have anything to wear, you can actually see, okay, I really don't have anything for this occasion. Right, right. Or, you know, let me mix and match and see, you know, what I can do. Mm -hmm. I had to do that for Mysterious Red's birthday. I had to go out and buy a little top. Right. Like, I didn't have anything either. But then it gives you an opportunity to, like, add cute things, too, because who don't like shopping, you know? To get rid of the old things to bring in the new things. That's what this is about. Just getting rid of your old crap to bring in new opportunities and new, new blessings. Number two, 
change the feng shui of the of your palace of your sanctuary yeah even if it's just your room you live at home with your parents you live with somebody just rearrange your room it's okay yeah. you know it just gives you a different feel and it again just that refresh like this is somebody else's house and you never knew you needed to yeah. change your furniture around until you do today we changed around our living room and i never noticed how boxy we had it like it was like a box like a cave and then we changed it and it completely so opened open. up oh my gosh and it was i'm just sitting on the couch and i'm like wow i love my living room because we didn't even know that there's something that we needed to do until i was like i i just need a change like something move the couch over here push it over here put a light over here a candle it's amazing how those little things can really just change your mm, whole mood about candle. your space. Yeah, or some you gotta have a candle. Some vacuum lines. Yes. I don't have no carpet, but vacuum lines would be. Vacuum lines. With yeah. a little blanket in. Where's my blanket? And Over you just there. take the blanket and you just. With and the you vacuum be lines. <laughs> with the vacuum lines. And you be just comfortable. Just comfortable. And it's like in a new place. You yeah. ain't even gotta move. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think that's right. That's beautiful. Like, why move? Just rearrange. Just that's what you need. But and then buy a candle if you don't have candles. You need. If you candles. don't have, what are they doing? They're I like think somebody just moved stuff. in. Oh, okay. The creepy African moved out. Oh, do you like romance? Oh, okay. Well, that's good for them. I'm not gonna hate them. They're pounding on the walls while mm -hmm. we're recording. But um, <laughs> so oh, number three. This is this one of my favorites because I this did is the it. one that we're really passionate about. <laughs> Go say it. I don't think I want to anymore. Uh, but I did this and I text Ivy after I did. I'm like, look at her. Let me let me see. Let me put you on or something. Clean your contacts out of your phone. Like people that you don't, don't talk, talk to, to, ain't talk to, ain't gonna talk to. Mm -hmm. Delete, 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 delete their numbers. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I concur. Go through your social media. If it's people who are, you know, yes. posting things that you don't really, that you just don't want to see every day, delete them. Delete them. Um, There's no know. point of following them if you get annoyed by their page. It's just yeah. like not what you're supposed to do. And then get off, too. Like, right. you know, I think, have you downloaded an app that'll like lock your phone? No. Oh, well, I have an app on my phone that'll lock it for up to four hours. And not like lock my whole phone, but like it just completely removes all my apps. That's cool. For the four hours. That's cool. And so, because I don't notice, like, I'm sitting on the couch and I'm just so overloaded by information because I'm watching TV, I got my phone, I have my iPad, I'm on two different apps and it's just Ooh, a lot yes. going on. Yes. Um, then I'm texting somebody. So then it's like just putting that out. The only thing I can do is, like, talk to people or watch TV. I don't think it's been a long time since I've been able to just watch a show because right. it's just so much other stuff going on. And so it's Like, just, you're really distracted. Yeah, so yeah. just decluttering and just making it so simple of just, Either I'm just going to watch TV, I'm just going to read a book, mm -hmm. or I'm just going to go outside, I'm just going to talk on the phone. Right, like doing um, one activity because, you know, especially with our generation and society where it's changing, technology is running everything. And, you know, we think the medias are the devils anyways. And so they are not going to remove themselves from your life. So you have to take that choice or make that choice to just kind of... Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. Like just... Withdraw a little bit. Don't nobody care that you're not on there. Like, they don't even like you like that. <laughs> um, so just take a break. Um, I did something that Ivy talked about of turning off, like, your notifications for apps. Because I would get on my phone. And you know when you pull down from the top and it's you see so that? It's so much. Your and emails. it's like, do you really care that these people liked your picture? Like, do you really care? Like, if somebody come in it, when you get on next time, you'll see they come in. Like, you don't have to be... It's just one of those things, like, I think it creates an underlying behavior that and you don't notice. And urgency to just yes. have to check. You have to be available. And you don't have to be available. Right. Like, you know, before cell phones, believe it or not, if somebody had to page you. Page you from you a pay them, phone. And you had to wait at the pay phone for them to call the comments. When they were available. And what? now it's like we have text. You have the little bubbles. You can see what's going on. I know where you at. Your location. You see the scene. You know. Red. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and it's like. You, just because I'm here doesn't mean that I am available. Right. And it's just, you know, taking that time to really just declutter, debrief, and just kind of exhale from everything. And right. I think that's, I think that's Really great. important. Yeah, yeah. Take a, make a technological declutter plan. Okay? It don't have to be what we did, but, you know, do something that just really kind of takes you back a little bit from social medias. Um, that was the oh. last tip. No, the last one. Oh, oh. 
This is the one we are most passionate about. <laughs> passionate, so I creep. Yeah, sleeping on the house and Hey, so I creep. I creep. <laughs> Wow, yeah. I got you on the bus. You, you know, you was a little... He, he, if you can bring it down a little bit. I don't think that's the note. No? <laughs> okay, TLC. The last one we're most passionate about is drink some tea, light a candle, and just refresh. Like, just kind of be in your own zone. Mm -hmm. If you don't like candles, a scentsy. Buy a new scentsy scent. You, it's amazing how, like, the little things can kind of just spark... Mm -hmm. I don't even know something in your brain and in your heart and soul that makes you feel calmer. It makes everything okay. And it's just along with having peace, I think is what we're really getting at. Like not engaging in things that give us so many stresses or that bring so many distractions. And a lot of that is in your own space, like just your own house that you live in that you come to every day to debrief you want to set that up as a space that you can debrief in and one thing i did for a while and i may go back to is just making my room a no phone zone Ooh, that's so cool. you know plugging my phone up in the living mm -hmm. room set you know if i my alarm would be just on my phone but in the living room so my room when i went into it was just a no phone zone i wouldn't be on my phone wouldn't wake up roll over check my yes, email check yes you know it was just wake up you know, go to the bathroom and just get Start up. with yourself. Yeah. Right. Instead right. of everything Starting with going everyone on. else. Yeah. yeah. So I may, I may go back to that. That's yeah, that sounds like a really good plan. Um, I'm too lazy to take it out of the room. I can put it on the dresser across the bed. But to get up and go out. Get no. an alarm clock. Right, I get an alarm clock. You know, I already work with old people and you're, you're trying to make me old faster. Okay. I'm not getting no alarm clock. It's... I don't even want to talk to you. Anyways, that's all that we have today. Um, we're hungry. As always, there, there's nothing new with that. So we're about to go and clutter our bellies full of seafood. And uh, you know, we'll see you next week. And as always, you can be happy without everything going your way. Boodoo, beedoo, 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 beedoo. Uh, 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 uh. There's no music. On this part, we are just goofy and got to fart. Okay, bye. I'm sorry. <laughs>